Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I've been maintaining my protective style of spring twists. So I'm at the three week mark in this video. You guys can see that for three weeks, my hair is still holding up nicely. I really love this style and I love that this hair is pretty low maintenance. But I'm just going to show you guys how I keep my natural hair from getting too unkempt and looking too frizzy. First things first, I'm going to be applying some serum. I'm using the Sasha Pure Smoothing Hair Treatment. And I've been using this because it really is great at helping to moisturize the hair while taming frizz as well as adding a really nice shine. Another tip that will make maintaining your protective style easier is making sure your hair is properly prepared before going into a protective style. For me, I made sure to wash and thoroughly deep condition my hair with a great hydrating mask before twisting in this style. That will make sure that your hair is hydrated and can handle being kind of in a hibernation for several weeks. I chose a very thick hydrating mask that was formulated for curly hair. I also recommend this one from the brand Amika. This mask features ingredients such as jojoba oil and vitamin C which are amazing at helping to hydrate hair and keep it protected in the weeks that you are protective styling. So definitely a big tip is to make sure you prep your hair and set yourself up for success before protective styling. I was gifted this mask from Octoly, but I am really impressed with how awesome it worked. I also tried it on my sister's hair who has even thicker hair than myself and it worked really, really great at making sure her hair was hydrated and it also really nicely defined her curls. I'm just going to simply repeat the steps on the other side of my hair, again starting with the serum to apply throughout my hair including the ends of my hair that are twisted in, and then following it up with that same refreshing spray to add moisture to my hair. After lightly misting with a refreshing spray, I'm just going to go ahead and brush around my hairline, just lightly pulling out any hairs that are not within the twist, and I'm going to use a edge gel to lay those down and style them. This is totally optional, and if you prefer to keep your hairline non-styled, you can totally skip this step. Using a water resistant edge control gel, I'm just going to use a soft bristle toothbrush to apply that to my edges and to style them as I desire. Once I'm finished both sides, I pulled my hair into a low ponytail and I'm going to just use some more of that refreshing spray to lightly mist the top and then tie my hair down and this helps to catch any loose kind of frizzy spots or that little halo of frizz. I'm also lightly applying a little bit of styling mousse to the top as well just to kind of control any frizz that might start be starting to happen as this style gets older. I'm going to go ahead and use a large scarf and this is also how I tie my hair up at night before going to bed and I do tie my hair up every night. I don't do this exact routine every single night. This usually can be done weekly and I just usually style my edges every other day but I do wrap my hair up with this satin scarf every single night and I have found that this has helped tremendously to keep the style looking good 
over time as well as of course to protect my hair and then in addition to using this satin scarf I also sleep on a silk pillowcase And since the gel that I use can get pretty sticky, I'm just going to let that air dry and that's why I've tied the scarf just behind my hairline. Once it has set for a bit while I'm getting ready, I am all set to head out and my style looks great. My hair is soft, moisturized, shiny, and it's been just a really awesome break from having to daily style my hair since I only do this weekly. Alright okay, guys, I hope this video was helpful to those of you who are protective styling or want to try this style. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.